Hey guys, welcome back to the Six Gear channel. And in today's review, I'm actually going to be reviewing a 2020 GMC Sierra 3500 Denali in Onyx Black. Looks amazing. Can't wait to get into the review like we are just right now. So let's hop into it. All right, so welcome to the 2020 GMC Sierra 3500 Denali finished in Onyx Black. Uh, for starters, we can tell with Denali, you get this massive front chrome grille and it just kind of stands out from the pretty much every other truck um, in the market. I mean, every other truck has their signature grill, but I find that the Denali grill just really makes the truck stand out a lot compared to its competitors. We'll move over to the front headlights. So right here we have full LED daytime running lamps, the C-shaped clamps, and then we also have LED fog lamps down below. This here is actually your turn signal, so when you turn your signal on, this will be lit up. We also have two LED day, or daytime running lamps, like I mentioned, and then also LED lights. Coming across the side here, we actually have a really nice HD badge, which with the amber orange light on the side. We'll move along the front grille here, like I was mentioning, very big and bold. We have the nice GMC logo right in the center, and it also houses your 360 camera right there as well. Coming down below, we do have chrome recovery hooks, and then we also have a front chrome little piece of trim there as well. You do have front parking sensors, so one in two in the center, one in each side as well. And I'll come across the passenger side here so you can see what it looks like. Another cool feature that GMC and, well, GM in general does, even with their silver autos, is this really nice functional hood scoop. So the hood scoop actually funnels air through the engine bay to the left, and it actually is, it actually works, right? In, for the motor itself, um, the diesel engine, it helps cool, and it's a really nice aggressive front end, and it's a really cool thing that they do with the front hood just to make it stand out. So that's pretty much it for the front end. Again, it's very big and bold, especially when it comes to you know the HDs or the Super Duties. They try to make them really big, and this one doesn't disappoint. So let's hop into inside the hood, and we'll show you that big V8 diesel, Duramax. So coming inside the hood here, we have a nice, beautiful V8 Duramax diesel producing 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque made it now from 2020 and on to a 10-speed Allison transmission. Uh, shifts amazing. Uh, I truly love the 10-speed compared to the 6-speed in the previous generation trucks. Uh, works really good in conjunction with the Duramax 6.6, uh, the diesel. It's just a massive motor, really reliable too. Duramax has been known in the past to be really good, reliable motors and they're great hooked up to the 10-speed automatic transmission. So this is what uh, the power plant to this truck is. So coming across the side here with the heavy-duty GMC, well, they've actually added a really cool thing right on the side of the fender. So they have this amber light right here, and it does, it's not mandatory. They just kind of added it just for a nice little design on the side. Right here we're greeted with 20-inch aluminum rims from GMC. They actually look really good, especially equipped with this truck itself. And the tire size here, you got 275, 65R20. So really great rim option and the tire itself is pretty good. They're sitting on Goodyear Wranglers. So good tire overall. Um, you could actually upgrade to 20 inch black rims, which I think personally look a little bit better. But if you're looking for that chrome with nice aluminum rims, I think it looks really good in contrast to the black. Also coming along here the side, we have an added, kind of gives you a little bit of spec on the truck. So the specification, we have a Duramax, the Allison transmission, it's a 6.6 .6 liter. And then we also have GMC right here on the chrome trim on the side. Also too, we have all the trailer towing mirrors, which absolutely look amazing. Uh, people were kind of skeptical when GMC came out with the redesigned mirror, which is not housed actually on the window itself. It's housed on the door panel. And GMC says that it's actually better aerodynamically, but I mean, I think the mirrors still look really good. They are now power extending because before in previous generations, you'd actually have to pull the mirror out itself. Now you can push a button inside and the mirrors will extend. 
and then underneath we have that 360 camera so we have the camera here that views on the driver's side we have Denali stamped on the door panel there a nice little nice running board right down below chrome of course uh, GMC is known in the Denali trim to add a lot of chrome so we have some chrome door handles chrome on the door sills here right along the side which actually look really good I feel compared to you know just having it all blacked out another thing that GMC and well GM in general has added to the heavy duty series is this step here now I think it's rated for about 300 pounds or 350 pounds and it's a, actually a really good option to have especially when you want to get into the back of the bed I think having that there some people may look at it and say well you've kind of just put a hole in the bed but I mean it's very functional right especially if you want to get into the side of the bed and they also have them on the back of the tailgate or sorry the rear bumper as well here's another look at the back tire itself with the rim I think it looks really good but there's a side profile of the GMC Sierra let's take a look at the back and we'll go over the the tailgate so coming across the back here we actually have a really nice stamped GMC and Denali with Sierra on the tailgate itself we have GMC at the top then we also have Denali and then Sierra right on the side your max tow conventionally with this truck here is 20,000 pounds roughly um, if you're looking at doing gooseneck or fifth wheel your max is 21,300 and uh, your max payload here is 4,185 pounds for this truck specifically with the standard box and the 4x4 setup this does have the optional multi-pro tailgate which is very very functional um, it's got tons of tons of options that you can use um, if you're putting things in the bed or if you need maybe a, a nice step to get in so here I demonstrate different ways you can utilize the multi-pro tailgate very very functional and useful for whoever's using it you can use it to easily get access to the bed you can use it as a workspace area you can also use it to help stop anything from flying out the back of the tailgate with this little bumper here and again it's it's a great option to have on the truck itself and it's so much easier to use it to get into the bed and for better access of your materials in the back of the bed now carrying throughout the back bumper we do have larger steps to put your feet here we have nice beautiful LED tail lamps and then also to a handle at the top here so it works in conjunction with the step on the side there and again it's so easy to have and the nice thing about it it's free so there's no charge to that now carrying throughout the back here we do have some buttons here and we also have a camera and a trailer light so right here we do have your camera and then also a light for backing up your trailer at night to help you guide that two we have the buttons here one is to access your primary tailgate and one's to access your secondary so the top is your primary and the bottom is your secondary part of the tailgate so down below here we do have your trailer connections so right here we have the connection to input your trailer for your trailer brakes these two connections here are actually for your accessory cameras so you can actually have a camera inside your trailer or you can have a camera and you can have a camera actually outside the trailer for a nice transparent view which is pretty cool so you can see what's behind you when you are trailering over here on the right side of the license plate we do have actually your spare tire and how to access that is with the tools inside of the truck itself so what you do is you put the tool inside you can wheel the spare tire down and it's just for easy access all right so coming inside the bed here of the GMC Sierra the heavy duty uh, we can see we do have a slider hitch inside here what this pull is actually this is a, to stop from moving back and forth when you're driving because if you slam the brakes sometimes the fifth wheel will come back and it just makes a clunking sound it's not really appealing right so uh, especially while well, when you're driving so that's put in place there just from the owner himself so but we could see we do have a fifth wheel uh, package in here and it kind of gives you an idea of how much space is left in the tailgate or the, the bed itself uh, typically it's it's not always nice to have something like this in the in the bed if you're going to be utilizing it for different types of material there is still tons of room on the side but when it comes to the center and maybe having something inside it's not usually great to have it in there um, it is heavy to get out but at the end of the day you sometimes you just need it obviously for towing purposes right so 
that's why this is here. Um, the owner tows a fifth wheel, so you can kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like. We do have a lot of tie-down hooks actually in the back of the bed. So right here, I will show you, there's three in each corner. So one up here, one here, and one down here. Then we also have them in all four corners. And nice thing too, is we actually have lights. So we have a light here and also a light on the other side as well. This is the handle here that helps you get inside the bed for better access. Another cool feature is there's two cameras right here in the back of the bed light. So what these cameras do, so I will go over the one on the right. So this one here is a camera that access, accesses the back of the bed when you're driving. So if you're driving and you're maybe concerned about what's going on back there, you can access the camera inside the infotainment when you're driving. So that's this camera. This camera here is what GM calls their rear camera mirror. So instead of having a rear view mirror, which you can obviously use you can flip the switch underneath and it activates a camera so the camera is designed to help you see out back if you have maybe tall passengers in the rear and or maybe you have something in the back here that you're, you're not able to see behind the truck so that's what this camera is here is for and i will gladly show you that when we head inside one two convenient feature to put the tailgate down also you can actually use the key fob to hit this twice and the tailgate will come down automatically. Well, that's pretty much it for the back of the of the GMC Sierra 3500 Denali. Let's hop in and we'll go over the interior. So coming along inside the back of the interior, before we hop in, I will show you that we do have buttons all around the four door handles. And these buttons here are designed for you to get in uh, keyless entry mode. So let's hop in. So we're greeted with a black interior for GMC in the Denali trim. We do have soft touch material right on the top. And then also too, we have a padding here for your elbow, some fake wood trim here as well. And then your door switch here. Now coming inside the rear of the GMC, we can see that black carries throughout the whole cabin. Uh, one cool thing that GMC has implemented or GM in general, they do have cubbies back here for more storage. So basically, if you want to put something back here, it's actually insulated pretty well. So if you want to put anything back here, like any water or anything hot or cold, it actually insulates the beverage very well or any type of, you know, jumper cables or something like that. Close those up. We do have three headrests. I know GM in the, bat, in the past has not had a th uh, third person headrest, which they have added now. And then two, we have more cup holders down below here. Coming in the center here, we do have heated rear seats. So finally, they put vents back here um, for their passengers, which actually are amazing. Um, we do have USB, USB-C down here below, and then we also have a 12 volt, and then here are your heated seat functions. I do wish they did a they did put a 110 back here, but unfortunately, we do not have that. Over here, we do have some cup holders for more storage as well. Underneath too, we do have more storage. So we just lift up the seat here and we can see we do have some more storage down below. This does have the all season floor mats, which are plastic and they fit the truck really nice. GM did not really complete a full flat floor surface down here. There's a little bit of a hump, but again, it's, it's bearable for sure, especially if you have a third passenger. So that's what the back of this interior looks like. Let's hop into the driver's seat. So right before we go inside, I will show you guys the mirror on the side here, the trailer tow mirror. So this is actually a trailer light. Um, when you put these lights on, it beams a light at the back. So it's better for trailering purposes at nighttime. We do actually finally have blind spot detection on these mirrors because in the previous generation truck, we did not have that. So a really good option to have, especially in these big trucks. And then you can see we do have that button here to access keyless entry. All right, so coming inside to the driver's seat, uh, the door panel here is finished in that same type of material and color like the rear uh, passenger door panel. Um, we do have obviously more window switches for here. We do have two automatic up downs for the front two windows. We have our window switches here. This function here is to extend the mirror. So if I click this button, you can see the mirror extend. And then if I click the button again, we can see the mirror come in ever so slowly. 
They are also power folding in, so if I push this button down here, the mirrors do fold in. Just like that, and I click that button again, they will extend out. Alrighty, we do have also memory seating here, and then our lock and unlock buttons down below. So coming across the bottom of the door panel, we do have some storage down below. And then too, we have the 12 speaker Bose surround system in this truck. Down here, we do have our, our seat controls with our lumbar control right over here. And then too, we also have Denali stamped here right on the door sill. Coming in here, we do have our light controls and our driver mode. So another cool thing that GM has put in here is the fact that you can actually have a four wheel drive auto in the heavy duties, which I truly, truly love that system. So this controls the four wheel drive. This here is for your driver mode. Um, so trail or like tow haul mode and that kind of thing. Down here, we do have our light controls here. So the fog lights, our tailgate or our bed lights here. This controls your infotainment lights as well. Down here, we do have obviously your light controls, electric parking brake. And then over here, we have our head up display functions here. So that's pretty much it for the interior on the driver's side. Let's hop in and we'll go over all the infotainment. All right, coming inside the Denali interior here, uh, we can see we have the Denali badge right here. And then we also have nicely equipped aluminum trim right on the steering wheel itself. Now for the infotainment in the center screen here, because I think it looks pretty plain compared to the pre, uh, like its competitors, but it's again, it's pretty configurable. I guess you can kind of go through settings using this function here. Now, when I first saw this, I keep hitting the arrow button up here, which does not do anything. It just kind of directs you if you just move this little knob down and up. So that's what that's for. You can actually move through the settings with these arrows down here. So what I'll do is I will show you, right now we're in the home function right now. If I move to the left, we can kind of go through your fuel economy, your trip anometers, oil life, tire pressures. You got different functions here, which I can go through them for you so you can see the different categories. So we have your music right here. We can have navigation here and then also to your phone. And then too, you can change your settings down over here. So not too, too much stuff. It's pretty straightforward and simple. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. It's it's not as configurable as other competitors, but I love the analogs on the side and then you, you have that digital display right in the center. So that's what those buttons there are controlling for. You do have your call hang up, voice command here. Over on the other side, it houses your cruise control, your Ford collision alert. So if I click this, it will give you your different gap adjustments. And then to a nice heated steering wheel, especially in the Canadian winters, you definitely need this, need this button. Over here we have our window stock controls, so we do have auto, um, your automatic high beams, and then two, this is for your your window stock. This is also for your blinker indication here, and then two, when you push this, this is for your front window uh, wi windshield wipers. So that's pretty much it for the steering wheel and the center stack itself. We do have a column shifter right here, and then your manual controls on the side. When it comes to the interior itself. Um, it's not as luxurious as its competitors, unfortunately. I think with GM's new redesign that they're gonna come out with, I think they're gonna put that you know, Yukon interior in it, which I think looks absolutely amazing. But again, with this type of trim, I would expect something a little bit more luxurious. But if you're looking for something you know, more upscale like the Ram or the Ford Limited, I think that's probably what you're gonna to wanna to go for. But I think the you know, performance and the towing capabilities of this truck drive amazing. So um, the nice thing is too, is that this truck also has your heads up display. So I don't know if you can see it right in the front there. Um, you can control it with the buttons down below here. So I can control it using different modes. Like I can control different info modes. I can control, right now it looks like it's flashing, but again, it's, it's not gonna do that when you see it in person. But it's very configurable right in the center there. So. We do have more storage up here too. Um, if you want to put anything like uh, your phone or any type of uh, pens, pencils, that kind of thing. We do have two different glove boxes. So we have the top one over here. So it doesn't really house too much stuff, but again, it's a nice option to have it up top here. And then two, we have another glove box down below. Now let's look at the infotainment and we'll go through that. 
So co coming across the infotainment here, I truly, truly think that GM has definitely one of the best infotainment systems in the market right now. Um, when it comes to screen size, it's an eight inch touchscreen, but again, I think it's one of the most intuitive and best touch screens right now, like I said, in the market. Right now we're in the home feature, so we have different settings here, audio, phone, nav, um, there's a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. One thing I truly, truly love about this truck and a lot of GM products right now is the camera systems are absolutely amazing and the quality is just absolutely awesome so right here if i hit, hit the camera function right now we're in the 360 view with the front camera and it looks just i can't even describe how good it looks i think the quality is definitely one of the best in the market right now um so right now i'll show you that's the front view and then here's the back here is the bird's eye view of the rear and it's better for obviously backing up a trailer so you can see how close you are and that kind of thing. If I click this one, we can actually see a bird's eye view of the front. So maybe if you're getting close to a curb or something like that, very, very useful. Right here, we have a kind of like a 180 view or basically a 360 view rather almost of the whole truck at the front. So we can see everything around us. And then if I click this here we have uh, right here the two cameras underneath the mirrors that are facing forward so if I turn I can see that the, the wheels are turning so again if you're you know wanting if you're getting close to a curb or something like that that's what those are there for and then two this is a nice view if you're driving a trailer and you want to see if the trailer swaying we do have a view on the back side this here is actually a 360, 360 view if you want to get rid of it so if I click that that's what that does over here we click this arrow we can go into that camera view in the back of the bed so again if you really need to see back there um, if you're kind of wanting to see how things are going you can click this view when you're driving and it works really well down here we have a bird's eye view of the back of the tailgate to see again how close you are to your trailer hitch and then down here are these functions that are not on these are those camera functions that are additional they're accessories so you can see inside your trailer you can see at the back of your trailer, you can make a transparent view. So I do have to commend GM on these camera features because I think they're really useful. But anyways, coming into the infotainment, you do have a rewinding satellite radio. You do have a really nice view of different settings here. So we do have you know more. We can listen to Spotify, audiobooks. We have Amazon Alexa attached to this. So again, very customizable. We have climate controls down here, different hotkeys. Um, really, really configurable. I just do think that GM should upgrade to a bigger screen, maybe a 10 inch or a 12 inch, which I think they're going to do in their new generation truck. So that's pretty much it for the infotainment. Um, we do have settings here. Again, you can kind of run through these yourself and very, very usable. Down here, we do have toggle. So your volume knobs finished in Chrome. Uh, you do have your buttons here that also control your infotainment. Down below, we have our climate control. So dual zone climate. Here are your other climate controls for here. Heated and cooled seats. GM has always put your heated back seat, which I'm not really sure why. I just, they do have that option and they're the only ones that do. So you do have the option just not to heat your butt. You can only heat your back if you'd like. So right down here, we do have also different controls for your exhaust brake, your lane keeping assist, your parking sensors if you want them off. Um, if you're trailering and your trailer is hooked up, you might want to turn that off. This actually activates your, tra uh, your tailgate to go down. This here, hazards, trash control. This is for your plug here. So you have a 120 here. And then this is for your hill descent control. Okay. Here you do have a trailer brake, which is awesome, obviously, especially if you're trailering. Here we have USB-C and USB, and then also a 12 volt. Down below here, we do have more storage. So we have wireless charging pad, and then also a slot here. And then if we get even more down, we have also cup holders and a slot down here below for different materials two we have our center console so really really usable um, they used to actually Jim used to have your wireless charging pad up here but they've actually moved it like I said down here um, basically it's because if you were ever in an accident or if you were ever uh, needing to slam the brakes we wouldn't they wouldn't want your phone to go sliding forward and back um, and potentially you know hurt a passenger so that's why they moved it down here we do have a center console like I said so Right now it's being used. 
we have a USB, USB-C, and then we also have an aux right down below. But again, it's pretty deep, pretty usable. Um, pretty much like every truck right now, it's they're pretty big, right? So that's pretty much it for the interior. Up at the top, we do have a sunroof as well. You cannot get an optional um, panoramic sunroof, which GM might include in their next generation truck um, for the new redesign. But right now, you can only get the one part of the sunroof. The, the, there are pros and cons to it. The pros are you actually get a little bit more headroom in the back. So as you can see, we do have that indent right in the back there. And it's just for passengers who are maybe a little bit taller. Uh, the one thing I will go over is that mirror. Um, I remember mentioning in the back of the t in the, the bed, I showed you there was a camera. So let's go over this mirror with you guys. All right, so the mirror itself, again, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. We have a mirror here that's usable, obviously, like every other car. Now, like I said, there's switch here. So if I push this switch forward, it turns into a camera. So right now I have the handle up right in the bed. But anyways, very, very, it's, it's, a, it's a great quality camera and it works very, very well. So right now there's three buttons under here. And what these buttons do is you can change the, the brightness of the camera itself in the mirror. If I hit the check mark, and I can go to a different setting. So right now I can actually zoom in. I can zoom in and out in the camera. And then also too, I can actually move the camera up or I can move the camera down, which I think is absolutely amazing. I think every manufacturer should have this function. Like I was saying, if you do have tall passengers in the back or maybe if the bed is blocking your view to seal back, this is just an amazing option so you can see kind of what's going on in the back. So overall for the interior, I do think that GM could have stepped it up just a little bit, especially in their Denali trim. Um, when it comes to the fit and finishes, I think it's more on, not on the luxurious side um, for a Denali trim. I do think that the Yukon and the Tahoe truly are a lot better for their 2021 generation year. Um, they look amazing. I think the interior and the fit finishes are a little bit better than the trucks right now. But I do think that when GM comes out with their new refreshed and redesigned uh, truck, it's going to have that interior and it's really going to do a really good job competing with Ford and Ram. But right now it's it's not up to par with what Ram and Ford have, unfortunately. But I think when it comes to the towing specs and the performance of a Duramax diesel and the exterior, I think GM nails their exterior looks. But right now for the interior, I just don't think the quality is right now on par with, like I said, Ram and, and Ford. So that's pretty much my take on the interior. Let's hop out and I'll let you know the price. So right now as it sits, this truck here is $94,722 in Canadian. Um, well, this was brand new. So $94,722 Canadian. Uh, pretty on par with all the other competitors out there. Again, it's just gonna come down to uh, your preference on the ride and the drive of the, of the truck. And also too, like you're gonna buy a truck because of its overall design, right? Like the looks. I truly think like I was saying with this GM truck, it is absolutely gorgeous on the exterior. I think GM nailed the, the exterior when it came to its overall design and its looks. Uh, when it comes to the interior, I do think GM could do a lot better of a job, but I think with its new redesign coming up or its refresh, they're going to kill it because they're going to probably put the Yukon interior in it. But that's pretty much it for the whole truck itself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, what type of truck are you going to prefer when it comes to, you know, a heavy duty? Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this truck and what one you'd like to go with when it comes to the big three. And uh, we'll see you in my next video.